Hey guys, how you doing? This is Manga Etc. And I'm here today to bring you a review for My Hero Academia Manga Chapter 333. And now it seems like, I think her name's Kathleen, or Catherine, regardless of her real name, Stars and Stripes, or Might 2, whichever which way you want to call her, it seems like that she has died within this chapter. If she isn't dead, I feel like, you know, she'll be finally dead within the next chapter but regardless if she's dead currently or you know on the verge of it is the end of stars and stripes or might too and for two reasons i call this a fail number one and i've said it before because star and stripe is a disciple of all might everything she does and doesn't do was destined to disappoint, at least in my eyes. I've explained that in the past. Don't really want to do, go over that again. If you are not familiar with what I'm talking about, hit me up in the comment section. We will discuss there. But the second thing, and the probably least, the least subjective, the least you can argue with this fact that I'm about to drop. And the fact is, is that we didn't have enough screen time, or I guess page time, if you will, because we are reading the manga currently, with Star and Stars and Stripe to care, to form a kind of relationship, to form a bond with Stars and Stripe to care about her dying so soon. Now, uh, this is probably might be for me. I don't know about you. Maybe you can gather attachments very quickly, but. We don't get enough time with her. I think it's about five chapters. If it's not, if it's been more than that, then wow. Because if, regardless of how many chapters it's been, it's filled, it's filled pretty short. And we've just been thrown into the deep end with her. Um, we had this straight way into the fight, and during the fight, we were thrown, we were just filled with all this information about her backstory and blah 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 blah. And like I said previously, like, you no, know, you throw in the backstory to give depth to the character, and so for your form an attachment with said character. But like I said, everything could have been going on way too quickly for it to feel natural. And if she is dead, then good riddance. <laughs> Good riddance, but in all honesty, I feel like it's a waste. I feel like it's a waste. I feel like there could have been so much more you could have done with the character. I personally would not have made her a disciple of All Might. That would have just boosted her just so, 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 so much. But even if you kept the fact that, you know, she had ties with All Might, and fair enough, but let, let, what you should have done was let her come in interact with so much people then we slowly get the backstory and then we then we get the fight with all for one maybe even if they were supposed to meet like this and then they retreated and they had a second fight and that's when essentially then she did died because like i've been saying everything was all rushed we learn from this chapter that one for all no all for one sorry was dreading the fact that Deku and her could meet up. Imagine if we got that. Imagine if we got them two meeting up. Two All Might fanboys meeting up, being buddy buddy. That sounds like it could have been a laugh. Sounds like we could have got some good react, good um interactions there. Imagine we got to see All Might two talking to Endeavor, or just the other um, other class members of class A and maybe class B but you know class A class A class A class A and inspiring them a bit more to be heroes to become better and so forth especially after this war where there was a lot of people who quit the hero job and like I said previously as well there should have been a moment where we had students doubt in do they want to still continue doing this hero thing if you have heroes pro heroes out there retiring we definitely should have had that moment with the class with the class students and we could have had all my two coming in there being an essential symbol of peace herself re-inspiring these heroes to go on and be better
No, that sound good to you. Sound good to me. But essentially, what we do get is a character who is thrown into us quite quickly. We are told all these facts about her. She's the number one in the world. She's got this all amazing quirk. A quirk we potentially won't see no more because obviously she's dead and what she did was cool not gonna lie what she did was cool throwing her and what she did was cool <laughs> what she did was cool whereas we have now the quirk of inside shiggy and it's acting up so it's t- potentially losing making him lose all his other quirks so he now still needs to get rid of it so potentially because obviously Shiggy's not dying for now <laughs> of course not so potentially what I see happening is that Shiggy will lose a couple of quirks maybe maybe one or two we know he's lost one already uh, his reflex quirk but he's definitely going to throw this quirk into somebody else and then potentially kill the person so no more new order But yeah, I think I have said what I need to say really and truly. It's just a shame. It's just a shame. All Might 2 wasted potential and I don't have nothing more to say on it and that. I'm going to give this chapter because the thing is, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was unenjoyable for me personally, but it wasn't bad. I just feel like Things should have been executed differently to make things more enjoyable, more realistic, and so forth. So it's for those reasons I'm going to give it a free star rate and a quality review. Like always, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. But most important, take care. Have a nice day.